After being fully closed for a total of seven months, the Canadian Human Rights Museum has officially reopened its doors to the public on July 27th. The museum has a few exhibits never seen before, such as the Witness Blanket, a piece of art created by an indigenous master carver that contains over 800 objects collected from sites and survivors of the residential schools. Each of those objects tells a story. They're these tangible objects that really are meant to bring the story of residential schools alive, to tell the people who are looking at it that this really happened, that these are pieces of truth, and I think it has a very powerful impact on those who come and, and look at it. The exhibit has sparked the public's attention even more lately after all of the unmarked graves were found in and out of the province. Those aren't new discoveries really, but they've grabbed the public attention anew and now people are looking to learn more and so that's what we as a museum hope we can do. We're a place of dialogue and conversation, we're a place of learning. Sharing the same space is the exposition Artivism that uses art to tell stories about genocide and mass atrocities to capture people's attention and encourage them to take action. In addition to that, the museum also has another brand new exhibit called Articulate Our Rights. This one has uh, artworks created by Manitoba youth. Uh, over 100 teenagers in Manitoba submitted their artwork about human rights and we've got it projected in this really vibrant, colorful, uh, immersive gallery upstairs. Right now, the museum is allowed to function with 50% of capacity, but you're still encouraged to buy the tickets online ahead of time. We're seeing people come. We had our first uh, day of uh, over 300 visitors that we've had for over a year. So it's coming back and, uh, you know, we've got all the, the, the precautions still in place. We require masks. Uh, we encourage, again, social distancing, hand sanitization. Uh, contactless payment, all the same things we've been doing all along. The museum will offer a public program in September with a panel discussion and an audience Q&A. And they also plan to build a whole new gallery around the idea of colonization, residential schools and reconciliation. Juliana Venucci, U Multicultural.